super cool party people. It is seven o'clock. Um, I haven't vlogged all day because I woke up this morning and I had a message from my grandma saying, can you come please bring a coffee mug to grandpa in the hospital because he can't hold the paper one that she brought. And I was like, yeah, totally. So I woke up, I got ready. I went over there with a coffee mug, hung out there for a while, met up with my mom and her boyfriend for lunch with my grandma and then we had to pick up some snacks and like some reading material and stuff for my grandpa so we did that and then we stopped by the house because it turns out I had ripped my shorts at the pocket which was weird um, so I came back and changed my shorts and packed up my laptop so I could get some writing done if I had the chance and then we went back to the hospital and my mom and her boyfriend were there and we were there and we stayed there for quite a while and then at about 5 30 I want to say we left to go get dinner so my grandma and I went and got dinner and went and sat by the ocean which was nice and then she dropped me off at home because she's gonna head home but it was nice because I got a text from my cousin saying that they're gonna go up and visit our grandpa so you know he'll have someone to keep him from being bored as it's getting later on in the night so that'll be good but yeah I got home I wasn't gonna vlog today but I got some packages from Amazon so I figured I would unbox those I don't think they're particularly exciting um, but you know why not so this is stuff that I mostly need for when I go out to blind channel this summer first thing is same thing I got last year which is more SD cards just so I can send my vlogs out because I eventually blind channel is going to be getting um, cable internet like DSL but I don't think it's quite there yet so it really kills the internet to be uploading I think although like I don't know I was thinking about it my vlogs aren't really that long when I'm out there so maybe it'd be okay maybe I'll give one a try anyway to help facilitate sending those out because um, I need envelopes last year I got some at the dollar store and they were a little big which was annoying because I had to trim them every time I sent them so I could pay a dollar eighty instead of like five dollars so I got some smaller ones. They're like four by six. That's a lot. I know. I think it's like 50. No, it's 25. Okay. But yeah, these ones are so much smaller than the ones I have. And like, that should fit through the mail slot thing. No problem. Maybe I can pay even less than $1.80. I don't think so. But so those will work more than well enough because I ain't going to be sending it with this. So that's exciting. It's really hot today. I forgot what I got. So this here is another reorder can't show you what it's for. I'm sorry if that was loud. Um, I can't really show you what it's for because it's for my camera. It is, or they are, because I got two of them, um, screen protectors for the screen on my camera. Uh, currently the one that I have is cracked, but the screen underneath is fine. So these work real. They're a Funta. I think I just looked for Canon G7X Mark II screen protector. So yeah, it works great. I, I love it <laughs> um, because one of them had a really bad chip in it. Screen was fine. And then this one, like I said, right now has a crack in it. It's not, I'm trying to see it. It's not super noticeable all the time, but it's there. I also decided to get a phone case. You know, I picked one up the other day and I was not really a fan of it. And so I just got a regular clear one because the back of my phone is like the gold. I also have this one that I picked up for like five bucks from Walmart, which I was super stoked about. So I've got a little bit of options and I got this new pop socket, which is this fun like marbly blue color. So I'll be set for a while now. If I'd known I was gonna find this one, I probably wouldn't have ordered that one, but it was already on the way, so whatever. And the last thing I got is a Vogue mask. So if you were watching my videos last summer when I was out in Blind Channel and the smoke got really bad, I got an allergic reaction all over my face and I couldn't breathe. So I had an air purifier out there like that one. So it's pretty, it's, I'd say it's pretty much the same thing, but it is the same thing other than this one's mine and that one's out there. But this is um, an N99 nanofiber fiber, fiber filter, or it has one. So yeah, that looks super small. Hopefully it fits my face. I measured, so yeah, so. That's what we've got and um, that should help me with the smoke because it was so bad but yeah and it's cute anyway that's what I've got I tried to do a little bit of editing while I was at the hospital my, my grandma wouldn't stop talking to me love you grandma but let's try to edit so I think I'm gonna try to get that done at least one chapter 
and um, probably try to sort my life out a little bit because I do feel like a hot mess. Just, well, hot because it's warm out, not because I'm hot. <laughs> I'm just rambling. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'll try to check in with you later. Alrighty, so it's 10 after 9 and I've done like nothing. I showered, obviously, you can see that. Um, and I unpackaged some of the things that I need to bring out to Blind Channel for the summer. So I'm starting to fill this in my tech bag. So I've got like all my SD cards in there, my extra earbuds because I chew on earbuds, which is why I love Bluetooth. Can't chew on those. <laughs> um, yeah, and like getting this guy packed up a little better. Remember when I said I was like, oh, I think it's 50 envelopes? No, never mind, it's 25. No, it's 50. So I have a lot of those mailers, but that's fine. Yeah, so I've just been kind of puttering um, hilariously. Well, maybe not hilariously. So my friend's in Edmonton, and the smoke there is really bad right now. So I was like, hey, I just got a vlog mask. You should check them out. And then so we were talking about, like, breathing when there's forest fire smoke and um, skincare and stuff because I had, if you remember, if you go back to those vlogs from last year, like end of July, beginning of August, I think, I had like red reaction to all the smoke. So I'd like to find something that would, you know, fix that this year. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Nothing important. I think I'm gonna put on my headphones now and try to get two chapters done. I think that's promising. So I'll check in with you after that and hopefully after success. So I just edited two chapters. One of them was pretty much done though because I was editing it in the hospital. But I'm realizing that I'm not really in a good state of mind to be editing. I'm a lot more tired than I thought I was. I slept in this morning which was nice but then just you know being at the hospital and then helping my grandma run around and stuff. I'm a little bit more tired than you know I think that I would normally expect. That was bad English. I'm trying to contemplate if I want to do this next chapter or not. Maybe I'll see how long it is, but it is about 20 to 10, so I should think about going to sleep soon, but yeah, I'm just not really, I'm not feeling it. Like the last chapter, my, my only note was, does this feel shallow? Like it just feels devoid of progress in the story, but it does, I don't know, it just me. I think my head feels empty, I think that's the problem. So, I'm gonna contemplate what to do here for a bit, but I'll definitely check in before I go to sleep, but it's probably gonna be soon, so we'll see what happens. I think I've decided I'm gonna try to get through the next chapter. It's over 4,000 words, but I'm just hoping it's well written. <laughs> I think it looks like, looking at my notes from my last read through, that it's a new chapter, so that could be problematic, but we'll see. But I just wanna show, so I'm a person who likes to have a very clean and clear workspace. Like I have a big long table and I like that it's like just my computer and my notebook, but right now we're a mess. There's just stuff everywhere and it's like that stuff and like it's just, <sighs> Also, I mean, that's a disaster over there too. So I'm just a little stressed out about those things. Maybe that's why I'm struggling with the editing, but it's it's important. <sighs> but I hate it. I hate having so much stuff on my desk. I mean, once I start packing for the summer, like this stuff will be coming out with me. So, but yeah, for now it's just like, ah, I need to get my life in order. It's so bad. <laughs> Alrighty, so I got chapter eight done. So that's three chapters today, just over 10,000 words. And I'm 23% of the way through this edit, which is pretty awesome. I obviously need to do another edit. There's a few things that aren't quite sitting right with me right now. And like I said, I don't know if it's just my state of mind right now, if I'm tired or whatnot, but there's a few things in these chapters that I just not quite right, but I don't know how to fix them right now. So. We're just gonna ignore it for the moment and um, deal with it on the next edit. But I figure as long as I get the major stuff out of the way, the small stuff is a lot easier to deal with, obviously. But it is now quarter after 10 and I think it is a bedtime. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.